Hi, Adam here, and welcome to this week's edition of Virtual Regatta Top Tips. Uh, and this week we're going to look a little bit more in depth on racing rules in the Virtual Regatta game. I don't proclaim to be a racing rules expert in the game, however, I just wanted to run through some common scenarios that I see unfold in the game and just highlight some potential areas where you may pick up a penalty that could be easily avoided. Uh, and again, I'd just like to thank Johnny, my brother, for helping me put the footage together. Uh, it's uh, quite a challenge setting up all these rule scenarios uh, fakely, so to speak. Um, so uh, thanks for him helping me put this together. The first one we're going to look at then is fairly simple as we're coming into within a minute. So prior to a minute, uh, you don't get any penalties. As soon as the timer for the countdown before the start gets into the minute, uh, that's when you can occur penalties. So this one is a really straightforward one. I'm going to be minding my own business and Johnny uh, is going to come from behind and hit me. So he was the overtaking boat. He failed to keep clear and he picked up a penalty. This next scenario is um, slightly different. Uh, so I'm actually going to get the penalty here because I'm the windward boat in this scenario. So last time Johnny sailed from behind, uh, and just hit hit my stern and got the penalty. Whereas this time he's going to be to leeward, coming with pace, and I'm just going to be a sitting duck waiting for the start. There, I see this happen a lot in racing with boats that are queuing up too early, and boats with speed come from behind slightly to leeward, and um, and you get a penalty. Uh, the way to see if this is happening is keep an eye in the top left corner, so I can see at the minute Johnny is on port. Uh, but as we play it, you'll see he tacks over onto starboard. He's now to leeward of me. And if we come back onto the screen, you see he comes with pace, hits my port side, and I get the penalty because I was the windward boat and I failed to keep clear. So here we've just started. Uh, and what we're going to see unfold here is a windward boat situation again. So like the last one, windward boat has to keep clear. What happens a lot just after the start is the boat to leeward may want to tack off, uh, but the boat to windward is carrying on. So here you're going to see me do an aggressive luff, which gives Johnny the penalty uh, and allows me to, to sail off into the distance and potentially tack across. So there I go. I luff him up quite heavily. He gets the penalty uh, and I just bear away and, and pick up some pace and off I go. This is a tactic quite often used by a leeward boat upwind. Um, so if you're to windward, be aware of that. If you're sailing side by side with somebody, they could suddenly do an aggressive luff and you could get the penalty. So try and avoid that situation by tacking off and getting out into some clear air and not having a boat just to leeward of you. Uh, the most common times I see this situation is coming just off a start line or coming into the windward mark. Uh, particularly on the port lay line, you might have a boat that's overstood slightly, is um, bearing down on you, and that leeward boat sometimes does a, a hard luff just to give them a penalty, uh, which allows them uh, clear room to get around the mark. However, sometimes it does catch them out. Sometimes some boats will do a, a very heavy luff, uh, which almost puts them head to wind and, and slows them down significantly. Um, so if you're deploying that tactic, uh, don't do such a hard luff that you uh, yeah, put yourself head to wind. Uh, and if you're trying to avoid that, that, that manoeuvre, um, just try and tack away as soon as you see it unfolding. So here we're going to see a, a port starboard situation. Um, but with this one, Johnny, we're both on port at the minute. Uh, Johnny's going to tack across onto starboard but he's going to get the penalty because although he has um, completed his tack, he will not be deemed to have given me time and opportunity to keep clear and therefore he will be in line for the penalty. So we'll just see that unfold here. So here Johnny's about to go for the tack. Here he tacks over, completes his tack, hits me. I had no time to keep clear there. Um, so Johnny has rightfully got the penalty in that situation. However, just like normal sailing here, a port starboard is a port starboard. I should have kept clear here, didn't do. So Johnny being on starboard tack, give me the penalty. Uh, so that's a fairly straightforward one. 
uh, where time and opportunity isn't an issue. Uh, but in the previous scenario, if you're tacking, make sure you're not tacking straight into another boat because you're likely to get a penalty despite the fact you're on, on starboard. So here we're going to see myself get a penalty. We're kind of setting up a really false situation here. Uh, but what you're going to see is Johnny's going to um, st stay on top of me throughout the duration of this penalty. Uh, and what you'll see is the, uh, the penalty never goes away. So while you're in contact with another boat, whether that would be Johnny or another boat would, would come and touch me, um, if you're touching another boat with a penalty, you'll keep that penalty until you clear other boats. Uh, so you'll see there the penalty just keeps going up by a second and down because I'm still, um, still sailing side by side with Johnny. It's only when I separate from him that I lose the penalty. The reason it's useful to mention that is just if you do get a penalty, uh, especially around that top leg when there's loads of boats around, try and get into a position, try and sail away from all of the boats or try and head up a bit or bear away a bit and just get away from any other boats because if you're touching another boat, you'll never lose your penalty. Um, if you're trying to take advantage of someone that's got a penalty, um, if you're catching them up, don't try and miss them, just sail straight through them because while they've got a penalty, uh, if you're touching them, they're not going to lose that penalty. Uh, so it might seem a bit harsh, that, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a tactic used by quite a lot of people. If they're trying to overtake a boat with a penalty, uh, they'll just sail straight through them. They won't sail around them. Uh, so just thought that was useful to highlight there. So here we're going to see a, a windward mark situation unfold. I've, I've still not, if I'm honest, still not got fully to grips with the windward mark rules in virtual regatta. Uh, largely are the same to real life. Um, but the sometimes occasionally it seem to dish out penalties when you might feel a bit bit unfairly. Um, but I think, again, lots happening, so the computer game sometimes struggles, I think, to keep up with everything that's going on on the race course. However, what we'll see here is um, a, a situation. I'll just, I'll just let you run through it once, actually, and then we'll talk through it. There, so I got a penalty in that situation despite being the inside boat. So what we'll see here, I'll just talk through it this time. So I hoist my kite and bear away, but I leave a gap for Johnny to lure, so I do quite a poor mark rounding. Uh, Johnny dips inside me and then hits my port side, uh, giving me the penalty. Um, so the way to avoid that really is to um, just make sure you bear away quite, quite sharpish around that mark and get a really tight mark rounding to avoid any boats getting inside you and potentially dishing you out a penalty. So here now on the downwind, um, we're just going to show you the, the same move as we did last week, just again to highlight the, um, the a common, a common downwind penalty people receive. So here I am to windward of Johnny, I'm rolling over the top of him uh, and I'm going to pull a jibe off right in front of him. So here I go jibe and give Johnny the penalty. Very different to upwind. Um, so upwind, if you remember the tack, um, when Johnny tacked uh, and hit me, he'd completed his tack, but he, he didn't give me time and opportunity to keep clear, so he got the penalty. Um, downwind, that seems slightly different. So here I just about complete the jibe, if, if that counts as a completed jibe, uh, but Johnny still gets the, um, still gets the penalty there. Um, so quite a harsh move if you're the boat to leeward, uh, but quite a common move used as a, a tight race situation. Um, so what I'd say is, if you are that boat to leeward, just be aware of this downwind. So if that boat was always gonna jibe at some point, so if you're both sailing on port, coming up to the, um, coming up to the ley line for the, the jibe, uh, just think about maybe jibing a bit earlier, just getting out of that situation, because as soon as that boat to windward of you decides to jibe, you're picking up the penalty. So here I just wanted to show you a, a windward boat situation on a downwind leg. Uh, so what you're going to see similar to the upwind leg is the leeward boat. So Johnny, the white boat in this scenario, is going to do a aggressive luff and give me, the windward boat, the penalty. Uh, so pretty much mirroring what happens on the upwind legs. Uh, and this is quite often a scenario that unfolds downwind because... Uh, I'm taking Johnny's wind, so I'm rolling over the top of him, and he's trying to stop me doing so by luffing up hard. 
Um, so again, yeah, if you're the leeward boat, it's a common tactic to deploy. If you're the windward boat, just be ready for that and just be ready to, to head up with them and try and carry that extra pace and get over the top of them. So here we go. So Johnny does an aggressive luff up here, giving me the penalty. Uh, fairly straightforward. So I just wanted to show you a leeward mark rounding. Uh, we did this last week on the downwind and mark rounding video, but we went around this mark. So I was on port on this ley line coming into this mark, and Johnny was on starboard coming in here. So I was the inside boat, uh, but because Johnny was on starboard, we made contact as we went around the mark, and I got the penalty. So despite being the inside boat, I picked up a penalty because I was on port. Um, so in the game, port starboard seems to override the inside boat at a leeward mark situation. Uh, however, this week we're just going to go around the other mark just to show you this. Um, so Johnny is inside boat, but he's also on starboard. So he's fairly safe here because he's got, he's got double right of way in effect. Uh, and you'll see me pick up the penalty because of it. So Johnny's starboard boat jibes around and gives me the penalty because he was inside and he was on starboard. Um, but I just wanted to show you that in contrast to the one we did last week. Uh, but my main point is that the port starboard takes priority over inside boat on those leeward gate mark roundings. So we're back at the woman mark again. Uh, this time I'm going to do a better mark rounding. So Johnny's going to try and go for that move inside again, but I'm just going to close the door. So he's going to hit more from a stern and he's going to pick up the penalty. So it just shows the benefit of getting a, a good mark rounding at that top mark. Uh, so here we go. Uh, hoist the kite now, bear away, close any gap. And Johnny's got the penalty because he's basically sailed into the back of me. Um, so again, yeah, the top tip for that, that, that windward mark, uh, bear away is just do a really tight bear away around the mark and stop anyone getting inside of you. Uh, however, my top tip overall for that would be try and not make contact with anybody because the penalty could go either way in some of those situations. So the final thing I wanted just to touch on was just to highlight that you can cross the finish line with a penalty and still finish in the position you are as you cross the line. So what we're going to see here is I'm going to pick up a penalty uh, just before we finish, but I'm going to cross just in front of Johnny, still carrying that penalty, but I'll still claim the win. Uh, I think my point is here, as I said, is just the fact that um, unlike in real racing where you'd have to complete your penalty and refinish, in this virtual regatta, um, you can finish while carrying a penalty. Uh, it's actually an interesting one here, so I'm not completely sure why I got the penalty. Um, it may be because um, I didn't give Johnny room at the finish mark uh, to 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 manoeuvre around and get inside it. Um, but um, the yeah, the, the main point is that I can finish with the penalty. So Johnny just does a, a jibe here. I get the penalty, but manage just to finish ahead of him, uh, just to take that um, that overall win over him in that race. Uh, so yeah, so not entirely convinced that I should have got the penalty in that situation, but um, yeah, I must have been deemed not to give him enough room to finish around that finish mark, which is a mark of the course, uh, and therefore got the penalty, but just managed to nudge ahead of him still. So thanks for listening. Uh, just to summarise what we've gone through there, uh, at the start, just be aware of any boats to leeward that are coming with pace because you could easily get caught out uh, in a windward boat situation. Uh, after the start and going up the beat, if you are to windward of anyone, just be aware they may do an aggressive luff at any point uh, to force you to have a penalty. Um, so try and yeah, tack out and keep clear of those situations. Also at wind, if you're tacking from port to starboard, check that you've got no boats immediately above you because if you tack, completely tack, but don't give them time to keep clear, you're gonna pick up the uh, you're gonna pick up the penalty. At the windward mark, uh, <laughs> try and avoid contact at all costs uh, because the penalties can seem to go either way at that windward mark. Uh, but what I would say is try and do a sharp mark rounding to avoid any boats diving inside of you and then potentially making contact with you and giving you a penalty. On the downwind leg, 
just be aware if you're both on port and there's a boat to windward of you, if they suddenly jibe, you're likely to pick up a penalty. So think about that in advance and either jibe off early or before they're rolling over the top of you, you might want to do an aggressive luff uh, and give them a penalty. At the Mark Leward marks, the port starboard overrules um, inside boats. So this week we looked at quite a straightforward one. The inside boat was also the starboard boat. So came in, jibed round uh, and got inside and gave the outside boat the penalty. But last week we used a different mark and the inside boat was on port. So despite them being inside, they weren't able to get round uh, without a penalty because the boat on the outside on starboard give them the penalty. So it's just be aware of that. At the leeward marks, port starboard has priority over inside boat. Uh, and then finally at the finish, uh, just be aware that you can cross the finish uh, with a penalty. So if you're in a tight battle coming into the finish, just be aware if you do pick up a penalty, you can still cross the finish line and finish in the position that you go across the line. So no, I hope you've um, enjoyed listening to that today and watching that. Uh, really difficult one to film actually, a rules one, uh, especially with um, the differences from the game to real life and actually trying to film some of these scenarios. So again, big thanks to Johnny for helping me. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if, if you do like the video, if you can give it a like on the YouTube channel. Uh, also, if you like the content, uh, please subscribe to our AWA uh, YouTube channel. Uh, and also, as I said, I'm no expert on virtual regatta rules. So if you know of any other situations that occur or want to pass on any other, any other top tips on the rule situations, please do feel free to leave a comment below uh, because anyone that's got some top tips is welcome to contribute to this. So thanks a lot. Uh, next week, we will be focusing on, on match racing and we'll be sailing a different boat. We'll be in the star next week. So hopefully tune in for that. Thanks, guys. Uh, stay safe.